IGCSE Computer Science, Syllabus Statement 1.2.1b, Distinguish Between Simplex, Half Duplex, and Full Duplex Data Transmission. So when we look at these three terms, we're talking about the direction of data transmission. So let's start with Simplex. So Simplex data transmission is data transmission in one direction only. So here's a diagram of that. Um, so device A can send data to device B, but device B can't send data to device A. So this is the sender, this is the receiver. So basically only one direction. Um, so examples of this could include um, like microphones. So like you don't get an output from microphones usually, but you can input. So that's just sending data to the speaker. Um, keyboards as well. So like when you're typing on your laptop or computer, um, the keyboards don't usually output anything. They just um, input to the computer. Um, and you know, doorbells, baby monitors, all those sorts of things. Um, you can sort of use your imagination here because there are quite, quite a few things that um, have simplex data transmission. Then there's half duplex. So half duplex is data transmission in both directions, but non-simultaneously, so not at the same time. So here's how it should look. Um, what I'm trying to say here is both directions non-simultaneously. So device A can s send data to device B, and device B can send data to device A, but not at the same time. So sort of like that. Um, I hope that kind of makes sense. But um, the example of this um, are handheld transceivers, or walkie-talkies. So you sort of um, hold a button to talk to the um, other person, and then the other person like let's well releases the button to listen to what you have to say. Um, that's pretty much how it works. And also, radios used in police cars also have a similar idea. And then there's full duplex. Um, this video is going to be really short. Um, there's full duplex, which is data transmission in both directions simultaneously. So. Basically, device A can send data to device B, device B can send data to device A, and both can happen simultaneously. An example of this could be like um, telephone calls. So like if you're calling someone on Skype, you can both talk at the same time. So you don't have to like hold a button or yeah, hold a key on the keyboard to wait, like to, to speak to them and then release it to wait your turn. And you can talk at the same time, it's really easy. So. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, in the next video, we'll look at um, serial and parallel data transmission. Um, and we'll also tie it in with what we've learned here. So next video should be a little bit more interesting.